congratulations on the purchase of your new BT Moto handheld. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to install the tuning file onto your motorcycle. First, you'll receive a box. In the box, you'll have the handheld and two cables. This is the handheld, obviously, and you have the diagnostic port cable. They may look different than this, and you'll have a cable that goes to your computer. They all look like this. Um, so first thing you'll do is verify that the handheld and these contents are in here. And next thing you'll do is download the software from our QR code right here. If you do not know how to use a QR code or don't have a smartphone uh, enabled device, go ahead and go to www.bt-moto.com forward slash resources. And I'll put that on the screen here. Then we'll go to the computer from here. On the resources page, you'll click the year, make and model of your motorcycle, which in this case is a 23 S1000RR, it'll show you kind of specific documents, links, and videos for that motorcycle. One of them is going to be downloading the software. Go ahead and click and download the software to your computer, then set it up. Once you do set it up, it'll look something like this. After you set this up, plug in the handheld, you'll only have these two illuminated. You're gonna update the handheld. Try to update it. If it doesn't let you update it, that's fine. Go ahead and try to read your bike. Now that you updated your tool, take it to your motorcycle and plug it into your onboard diagnostic port. The onboard diagnostic port varies from bike to bike. This is an S1000RR, so it's in the tail here. Some are will be under the rider seat, and some actually have different kinds of looking connectors, and some actually require you to plug in the batteries. If you have difficulty finding your port, you can go ahead and email us. Assuming you can find your port, we'll move on to the next step here, which is reading the motorcycle. So we'll go to work, enter. This is a BMW, so we'll go to BMW. It's an S1000RR. And we're going to go through 19 through 22. This is a 23, but this will work for the uh, 19 through 22 selection. Now it's going to read you through some steps here. It's going to ask you to key on. So I'm going to need the key here. Let's key the bike on. Let's start communication. Read it. This process takes, this process on this bike doesn't take very long. On again, switch it off. Now it should tell me the flash protocol, which there it is, the identity, uh, identity right there. Now this is the next part, you have to ID it. So you ID it, we'll key it back on again. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch the dash off. It's completed successfully. Now we'll go back to the main menu. Now we're ready to take this back to the computer. Now that you've read your bike and you've plugged it back into the computer, you can see all four of the boxes that are now lit up when before it was just two of these were gray, the download and upload were gray, and the rest of them were lit up. Now you have the availability of these, availability of these two. Go ahead and click on the download from my genius so we can send that over to um, our file service. Once you download it, you'll wanna go to your profile, which is by clicking the dashboard. And you can see here you have a few options. You're gonna to go to My Files. You're gonna upload a file. It should have your order numbers here. Um, if it doesn't have your order number, please email us. You'll go ahead and pick your file here. And you can see I already put that in there. I go to Next. You're gonna to wanna to answer all of these questions. Now that you have the questionnaire filled out, you'll go ahead and click Next. Now it says the file has been submitted. Expect one or two business days for a reply. Once you receive the file from BT Moto, you should get a notification here. Um, and you also should be uh, getting an email that says the files are ready for download. In this case, I just made it where it was two files ready to download. So you can download both of them. In most cases, it will be one file. So just click and download that. And once you download it, you can open your software. And then you're gonna upload to My Genius. And that same file you just downloaded or files, upload it to the My Genius and follow the steps provided on the software for the Genius. Only upload one file at a time. Now we're back at the bike again. We're ready to put that new file or the tune file into the motorcycle. So we'll go to work. Now you'll see writing. And we'll go over here to tune file. I've got a few files here. So you just kind of select left and right if you have multiple files. So we'll click tuning file here. Now this is very important. Make sure you connect it to a battery uh, or some kind of um, battery tender. I ask you to turn that thing on there. Now, some of these bikes, they take a very long time to flash and sometimes long to read. If it's flashing and for some reason um, the motorcycle will lose battery, 
you would break the ECU. So it's very important that you go ahead and plug this thing into a battery tender or a battery charger before you start this process. Now, as we're starting the process here, you can see it's getting going. Um, this will take a little bit of time, so I'll just fast forward things as they go. Just for, uh, follow the on screen prompt. It'll ask, ask you to key on and key off a couple times. Now that it started flashing, you will see that the dashboard on a lot of models is affected. Looks like it's freaking out. This is perfectly normal while it's flashing. So don't worry, just let it go through its flashing process. Everything will be fine. Just follow the on-screen prompts. All right, now I can switch the dashboard off. Back on again. I would usually wait between key-ons till the pump primes. Uh, when the pump primes, go ahead and follow the prompts. Off. Easy ride is complete. Okay. Now again, some bikes will take longer than others. Um, don't be discouraged if it feels like it's going to take like 20, 30 minutes. Some bikes take that long. So again, it's very important to keep the battery plugged in while you're doing this process. Now this is done, it's going to analyze the log. And when it's fun, finished doing that and goes back to the home screen, you are ready to fire up and she's good to go. And we can start her up. There we go. That's a wrap.